looks like we are just about into the required pre-launch position, just a couple degrees away from the Falcon 9 and the Dragon capsule. But right now, T minus three minutes, eight seconds, everything continues to be go on Dragon and Falcon 9. Currently standing. Dragon is in terminal count. Dragon is in terminal count, and we are standing by to hear that stage one liquid oxygen loading is complete. Stage, stage two. Stage one lock load is complete. And there we have it, and stage two should finish shortly after at about two minutes prior to liftoff. So now the last major event is finish liquid oxygen loading on stage two. It wraps up at about T minus two minutes. Then at about T minus a minute and a half, we have to drain back and vent down the liquid line that goes up the strong back alongside the Falcon 9. If you see a large white cloud about midway down around the rocket, that's normal. That's again, just the gaseous oxygen hitting the warm, moist Florida air. Stage two lock load is complete. Dragon is in auto idle. And good calls that stage two liquid oxygen load is complete. That means we have full fuel on the first and second stages, that densified kerosene, and we're full of the Dragon oxidizer. Is starting. Liquid oxygen on the first and second stage as well. Now just a minute and 20 seconds until liftoff today. And as you can hear those sounds, like Soichi Noguchi said, the vehicle is alive. Coming up in 10 seconds, we'll look to hear that Dragon is in countdown and Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. Left is armed, Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. 50 seconds now until liftoff. That FTS you heard is flight termination. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, this is resilient. Roger, go. Go for launch, and at 37 seconds, the International Space Station flying over Kennedy SpaceX, Space Center. Crew one, crew one for all. Crew Dragon poised to go catch it. Twenty seconds till lift off. T minus fifteen seconds. Falcon nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. And propulsion is nominal. That's the word we want to hear. Stage one propulsion is nominal. That's 30 seconds into this historic mission flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage one is preparing to throttle down. This is in preparation for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one, throttle down. There's that call out for throttle down. Power and telemetry continue to be nominal for the vehicle, now traveling at 262 meters per second. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Call out the Falcon 9 is supersonic, and we will be passing through Max Q here shortly, the largest structural load during ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out. That Falcon has passed through stage Max one Q. Bravo. One Bravo. And we've Project just entered Bravo. stage one Bravo abort mode. That's going to take them through the end of the first stage burning just before second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina.
T plus one minute and 40 seconds into flight. Dragon and Falcon 9 traveling 709 uh, meters per second. Started. That call that MVAC chill is underway, the Merlin vacuum engine. Now with the call out of MVAC D chilling, similar to what we saw in the first stage Merlin engines, the second stage engine being prepared for its ignition coming up in just over 30 seconds from now. We're a half a minute away from three quick events in rapid succession. We're going to get main engine cut off. The nine Merlin engines will throttle down and then shut down. We're going to get stage separation. Stage one throttle down. And then ignition of the second stage engine. We've begun the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. Uh, stage separation confirmed. And you see that stage separation has confirmed. There goes that MVAC engine. Stage two, crew one is now on their way to the International Space Station. On the right side of your screen, you see stage two continuing to burn. Over on the left-hand side is stage one preparing for its return to Earth. Now currently on the left side, you can't make out much. Uh, it's a couple hours after sunset in Florida, but the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. The first stage is now unpowered, but with the velocity it had, it continues to coast up to an apogee before it begins to descend back into Earth's atmosphere. Now, as we watch, maybe we'll see the lights of Florida or the eastern seaboard in the background, but otherwise, there's not going to be much to see. On the right-hand side. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. You can hear the call out. Trajectory is nominal. Bermuda, nominal trajectory. And we've heard call out Bermuda. That means Bermuda ground station has the signals from the second stage of the Dragon and Falcon 9. We're still continuing as stage two burns to listen for those abort zones. We are now in 2A through 2E to Echo, taking us up over the northern Atlantic. Right now you can see the second stage engine glowing with this standard uh, red uh, that we have come to uh, see over all these missions. Indicates everything's looking good. Power on the MVAC-D engine continues to run at 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of outer space. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. And trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. And we hear the, the reply from the crew acknowledging we have a nominal trajectory. Dragon made it to the Falcon 9 second stage heading into the low Earth orbit where Dragon will then separate and begin its trip the rest of the way to the space station. We'll be looking for SECO, second stage engine cutoff, coming up at eight minutes and 48 seconds after launch today. So about three and a half minutes from now, Dragon and Falcon 9, second stage, currently flying 2,979 meters per second. Now currently the first stage has begun its descent. It is through Apogee. It's beginning to come back down where it, uh, Coming up in another couple of minutes, we will have the entry burn where we begin to slow down the Dragon first stage. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Another call out, another nominal trajectory, just what we love to hear. That voice you're hearing on board Dragon, that's Commander Mike Hopkins speaking for our four-person crew as they continue their journey. Now six minutes and 12 seconds after liftoff. Trajectory still nominal. And Leah, you can see on the indicator altitude, 201 kilometers. Uh, we're now beginning to essentially level out and pick up velocity to get us into low Earth orbit.
We're a little under one minute from the ignition for the entry burn on first stage. And we're about two minutes Dragon away. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Great news, now seven minutes after launch, second stage engine continues to burn, everything looking good. And we'll see that continue to burn for another one minute and about 38 seconds. Right now on stage two, the crew's getting about uh, a little more than two and a half Gs of acceleration. First stage preparing to ignite. For the Stage entry two, FTS has saved. And we've got ignition of the entry burn, center engine, followed by the other two restart engines. First stage now getting ready to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is about a 29 second burn and it's designed to slow the vehicle way down we're gonna shed about 70% of the velocity of that dropping first stage by the time this landing burn completes. I should say by the time the entry burn completes, which is now over, first stage on target for the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Meanwhile, we're watching second stage getting close to getting into orbit. That's right, we've got about 30 stage seconds two, internal more. Guidance. Now just about 20 seconds more of stage two continuing to burn until we see second stage engine cutoff or SECO. We'll coast for a few minutes afterward to allow the rates in motion Shannon. to Roger Shannon. There, there's that call for Shannon. That's Shannon, Ireland, an abort zone, but it looks like we continue smoothly to orbit today. Back, shut down. And we've got shutdown of the second stage engine on time. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orb insertion. Launch escape system is disarmed. And SpaceX copies. And Leah, the words we like to hear a nominal orbit insertion. That's right, John, nominal orbit insertion, as we mentioned, stage two. Oh, looks like some action on stage one. And I believe we've had a touchdown on the drone ship. We've got stage one has touched down on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. But now the more important news, second stage is in orbit right where we want, right on time, and we're getting ready for our next major activity, which will be Dragon spacecraft separation. <laughs> now, currently on the second stage, we are essentially venting pressure, purging the engine out, making sure everything is quiet in preparation. Take a look, that's inside Crew Dragon right now, our Crew One crew now coasting in low Earth orbit, still attached to that second stage. In just a couple of minutes, we should see that second stage separate and Crew Dragon will be flying free. Leah, the mission timer shows 90 seconds to Dragon separation. Currently, Dragon is flying at 27,000 kilometers an hour. T plus 11 minutes since liftoff today, waiting on that second stage separation. But as you can see, our astronauts from left to right, Shannon Walker, Victor Glover, Mike Hopkins, and Suichi Noguchi, now on their way to the International Space Station. First trip to space for Victor Acquisition Glover. Acquisition of signal in Newfoundland. And that call out acquisition of signal in Newfoundland. That means the Newfoundland ground station is now receiving telemetry from Dragon. 
This view inside Mission Control Hawthorne. Teams continuing to monitor the vehicle, now traveling at almost 27,000 kilometers an hour. Ten seconds to Dragon separation. Dragon separation confirmed. And separation confirmed. You can see that second stage departing. Crew Dragon leaving it behind. Dragon separation confirmed. Now 12 minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. Our next thing we'll be looking for is nose cone deploy. Our hooks will start to open on the nose cone and reveal those forward thrusters underneath. Thirteen minutes into today's mission, the view on the right-hand side of your screen coming from Crew Dragon. We had that short look at the second stage as it departed. That second stage will burn up upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX, we see nominal service section Draco checkouts and the humidifier activation. And SpaceX, this is Dragon. We copy all and we see the same. Confirmation from teams on the ground and the crew. You can see them monitoring those three display panels, monitoring their journey to the International Space Station and where they are in the world right now, or over the world, I should say. Well, we're in 14 minutes, 25 seconds since it was a great liftoff. Everything happened. We had a normal, a normal insertion into 